So 18, they give us a function. It says verify that it applies. Don't worry about verifying. Um, so f of x equals x squared plus 9x plus 2. So plus 9x plus 2. And they give us the interval. The interval is uh, 0, 7. Thank you. Great test question. This is always on the test, no matter what, right? And they tell us that f of c is equal to 30, 38. How do you know? Oh, how'd you know? How'd you know? Oh, I was like, where's your computer? I was like, whoa. I was like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, you did it. You're like, yeah, all right. I was just like, no idea. It's good. It's good. <clears throat> good stuff. Right, OK. So uh, what's the question? Find C. Find C. I zoned out. Find C. See, you can zone out. <laughs> I can't zone out. But you can, right? I was thinking about something completely, I was thinking like years ago, like in 2010 when I started teaching, no one had laptops. Like, there's very few people. Like, mm -hmm. now like more people have laptops. I didn't even have a laptop. Okay. <laughs> 2010, no I didn't. So, find C. So basically, they give us the function, this is the A and the B, and they give us this, this is the K, and we have to find C. So all you have to do in this problem is just write this down. And then just go from there. So step one, just write this down. I had a student once and he got this wrong on the test. I remember this is the only question he missed in the whole test. And I asked him why. He said, I just forgot how to do it, is what he said. That's a story. <laughs> He's a really smart guy. But he, he did everything except this one and I couldn't believe it. So all you do is write this down. And then just plug in C for X, right? So C squared plus 9c plus 2. And what's that equal to? 38. Yep, it's all you got to do. It's really easy, right? So it's just a lot to know, right? Because we, we've done a lot today. We've done removable, non removable. We did the thing with the absolute value. Uh, we did that thing with the a and the b. We're doing this. Uh, I mean, there's more. Like, it's, it's just a lot of information, which, which makes it hard. So all you do is you write this down, and then you have to solve for C. So maybe we can subtract the 38 from both sides. I haven't done this in like a long time, so I'm still coming back from my zone out. So this is going to be <laughs> C squared, C squared plus 9C minus 30, oh, this is actually a pretty good problem, I think. I think there's something tricky that's going to happen. I picked it because I thought it was easy, but no, no, no. It's easy, but it's tricky. This should factor. If it doesn't factor, um, at least in this section, that means you did it wrong. Mm -hmm. Later on, there's some that won't factor. We'll have to use the quadratic formula. Uh, but this type of problem should factor. However, there is one in the homework where you do have to use the quadratic formula. So. Two numbers that multiply to negative 36 and add to 9. 12 and negative 3, yeah. 12 and negative 3, very good. 12 and negative 3, very good. What's your name, by the way? Thomas. 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 <clears throat> so you have a product equal to 0, so you said each piece equal to 0. I'm going to show this extra step because I did it in my differential equations class. And this guy's like, I've never seen that step. I'm like, oh. There's, an, there's actually an or here. Yeah. You're supposed to put that there. You don't have to, though. This is called the zero product principle. When you have a product equal to zero, you set each factor equal to zero. You may say, why is there an or? Because this means that this is true or this is true. Or means one or the other or both. That means that these are both answers or one of them is an answer. Right? They don't have to both be answers. At least one of them is an answer. Or in mathematics, it's not like or in English. right? Or in English is one or the other. Right? It's like if you go to Burger King and you say, um, do, they, do you want cheese on your Whopper? You say yes or you say no. In mathematics, it's yes, no, and then yes, no is an option too. You can say both. Right? That's a thing. That's a thing. Or in English is zor in math. Anyways, we have two answers. Which one do you think we have to throw away? Negative 12. Why? It's not in the interval, right? So that was the tricky part, right? I didn't expect that when I picked this one. I just like, oh, it looked easy. I'm like, oh, it's easy. Oh, you know, I can do it in 30 seconds. Was, but be careful.